In this video, I will show you how to make sure that your approval process goes smoothly by ensuring that there is automatic delegation of approval. So for example, if a person who should approve your task is on holidays, we want to make sure that task is not waiting for this person's return, but automatically is reassigned to the proper person who can approve it in the meantime. This video is part of our effort to provide the best possible training around Jira, Confluence and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and remember that you can always reach out to us for one of our paid services like trainings, consultations or implementations. So we'll be working on the workflow that I've shown you previously and we'll be talking about this go no go decision approval so if you don't remember if you haven't watched our previous videos on this go no go decision there is actually several different approvals that need to happen so uh, we have a field that is automatically set uh, set called board approvers where based on some criteria we have uh, several people automatically yeah, set so if we go to this go no go decision each of these persons will have subtasks create subtasks created and assigned so i have just moved to the status if we refresh the page the subtask should appear right over here okay one of them is already here and the second one will appear in a moment Yep, here it is. You can see that these tasks are assigned to Kaya and to Tom. It makes sense. So now they have tasks assigned to them that they can either approve or reject and it will affect the status of my main issue. But now, what if, for example, Tom is away? He's on holidays and we do not want to you know, wait for, for him to return. Basically, no other person has permission to change the status of the subtasks uh, okay so I, I will i will clear this initiative from from this subtask go back to scoring and we'll move this one more time but this time i will show you how it will work with delegation uh, handling implemented okay so we are back with reset initiative we are back at scoring so we can go into the board decision uh, you can see that subtasks were removed the approval subtask let's go one more time to the uh, go no go decision and see what happens now uh, so as last time probably i will have to refresh screen two, two or three times you can see that first task was created good uh, let's give it a moment second task was created too it's approved it's assigned to tom uh, let's make one more refresh and you can see that assignee changed to me. So the task was delegated to different person. Now, why this time it was delegated? Why this time, despite the fact that here the Tom is assigned, the task it was, or here the Tom is mentioned, the task was not assigned to him. Uh, so this is actually because in the system there exists a holiday request. So I will show you this. Here we have so we have holiday request that first of all is approved second of all it was raised by tom and tom in this holiday request uh, set or set basically what is the start and end date of holiday so it starts on 22nd ends on 27th today is 25th so we are falling between those dates and he mentioned who should be sub substitute uh, for for him so basically who should perform approvals on his behalf now the moment this request was approved and here approval can be done you know different ways depending on what is the process on your company it could be just the manager approval we discussed manager approval in one of our uh, previous videos so i won't cover that but basically the the moment the Re holiday request is approved and basically the moment we are creating subtask uh, is between those two dates these subtasks automatically get assigned to substitute 
So how it is done? Let's return to the initiative. Uh, and over here on the subtask level, so basically on the approval level, not on the initiative itself, in the workflow, we have a specific post function. I won't show you this post function. For, for this post function to, to work, we need some scripting add-on. So it could be script runner, it could be a Jira Mix workflow extension or several others. But basically over here on the create transition, so the moment the issue is created, we are looking if there is any task that was created by the person for which this task is created. So in this case, Tom, we are looking if the date of creation of this task is between start and end date of the holiday. And if yes, we are reassigning tasks to the substitute from the other task. So in this case, to me, because I was mentioned there as a substitute. I find this solution and approach especially interesting and useful because not only it allows you to remove the bottlenecks or basically a blockers for your approvals, uh, but also it allows you to keep the holiday approval process also in Jira. So you have one tool to do it all. I hope that this short video gave you idea how you can streamline your process even more and make sure that you go through your approvals with less of a headache. Uh, if you have questions or if you would like to know how you could optimize your processes more, reach out to us. We have a, quite a lot of experience in that area and I'm sure we'll be able to find some tweaks that will make your work even faster and more efficient.